want to start with uh, two stories. Uh, before I'm 25 years old, and I served in the army since 2008, and now I work at the airport of Qatar as uh, an IT security agent. You know, uh, network and uh, radars and uh, something like that. Uh, first, I will tell you two story about prison, prison in Tunisia. Uh, the first photo was taken in uh, 2011. This is me uh, at the prison of Burj Al Amri during during the revolution. I was soldier, taking order to keep prisoner in their cell, never let them go away, and shoot everyone who try to escape. <coughs> Maybe you think that this person in stage has killed any of them. Luckily for us, order changed, and because army shouldn't kill innocent people, we should protect them. So order became to protect the prison guard and our weapon and ourselves. The second story I will tell you about. The second story happened the last year at the prison of uh, Manuba, it's the prison of uh, women. Uh, he didn't change. Change. Yes, it's me, he, he can see. Okay. Uh, this time, different situation. I was doing a mutual drawing project with prison to give them hope, to discover their talents about drawing, to, you know, that we accept you again with us because you are a part of the society. You will become part of the society again. So don't worry. Uh, With the prison guard, there is another one. Uh, I shouldn't show the face of a woman prisoner. Those are some artists with me who came to draw, you know, a mutual painting. Uh, second one. Okay. Uh, I hope you are not lost. I will start from the beginning because I was speaking about prison gun. Arts, uh, it's a little bit make you confused. So when I was a boy, I have the gift to draw, and I start painting cartoons like Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, or maybe video games. Uh, the basic question people ask, what do you want to become in the future? When you are just a boy, you imagine that you can change the world. You can do what you want to do. It's too easy when you are a boy. So my mom, who has never visited an art gallery and uh, have no knowledge in arts at all, keep telling me you should keep your work, be strong, no problem, you can succeed as a future. And she keep encouraging me, give me confidence on myself. But my father, on the opposite side, who was also an army officer, he asked me to uh, left painting, quit painting, and keep a playing sport. I should get strong. I should work, get get to work as soon as possible, so I can handle the trouble of life with my family. Uh, I should study. I should be smart, and the painting will never help me in the future. Uh, next one. And here I am. This is one of my actually painting now. Uh, in 2008, I joined the army. I moved on to work with civil authority. And one day, I decide to, because I have the money now. With work, I got money. So I can buy canvas, oil, brushes. I can do whatever I want. So I decide to develop my skills, to develop my uh, you know, style of work. I do some research. And I met Basma. Basma who is actually my fiancé now. And he is, uh, she is uh, an artist also. <coughs> so we decided to, together, try to do our first step. 
we combine our energy and to do our first uh, exhibition. This is some video from my exhibition. My advice is, why, why I need money? Because it does not matter how good you are in arts, you cannot live only with arts. I cannot provide my living for me and for my family with arts. This is the ugly truth in Tunisia. Unless you get really, really lucky or you have contact or you get another job. I never gave up my dreams, uh, so I try to improve myself. I met, I met in exhibition many, many famous persons, like uh, this one, Habib uh, Bida. He's the fine art uh, director, fine art school director in Tunisia. And the other one is Bibbo Hawala, uh, one of the famous artists in Tunisia. Now he exposed his artwork at uh, Sidi Boussaid, Galeri Salada. Uh, they give me advices. They give me many, many you no know, good advice. Do this one. Keep away from this. Don't listen to that to the person because you should surround yourself with people who encourage you, who love you, who believe in you. <coughs> this is actually Taj Mahal, one of my latest, one of my first painting. Uh, People, when, when they see my art, my first artwork, they consider them like better than the painting I, I'm doing actually now. Because when they see this kind of painting, this is Taj Mahal or uh, the next one, uh, Jerusalem, they, they were impressed how realistic they are. But for me, I made some change. Uh, I start doing research about uh, Tunisia about my culture, because I was, I was born in Tunisia. Uh, move on to the next one, please. I actually start doing some research about Tunisia, our color, our monument, uh, our history, because I was traveling from the north to the south with my, with my father because of his war. So I start uh, doing a new kind of, of painting. Uh, next one. These are the three last ones. The first one, it's called uh, Color Without Borders. It speaks about Tunisia, the color of Tunisia, the monument. We see here the music, the Malouf music, uh, who it comes with the uh, Andalou people, the mosque of Zitouna, uh, the woman with the uh, traditional clothes, the Sefseri. Uh, you know, the next one, please. The second one, it speaks about the south, the south of Tunisia. Here, uh, the, the Tatawin, the first one, the Tatawin, uh, Dugga, the cavalry here, Jerba. Uh, here, the camels, when women in the south get married, they move on on camels, with, we call it Jahfa. It's tra traditional things. Last one, it speaks about Carthage the greatest empire in the Mediterranean Sea, who defeated Rome many times, but finally it, it said envy because of treason, but you know, they are brilliant. The here is Hannibal, uh, elephant, the Rome, the enemy, you know, it's like a different kind of monuments and color and uh, significant, significant things I put them in only one painting, and I will try to draw in one meter by one meter, but then I speak with uh, a person who works in the cultural ministry, and he say, why you don't do them in a, in a big uh, big painting, in the edge of the city, like I've, I've done them in the prison. For example, this in the edge of the city, in Carthage, the other one in the Kirwan. It's like in a new project. Uh, and finally, I, I have some advice for uh, never stop, lear stop learning. 
Never give up. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and do what you love. Because only you will succeed if you are doing something you love, you really love. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.